The wave of the anti-government protests across Iran. It started on December 28th in the religiously conservative city of Mashhad, nearly 900 kilometers from Tehran. Then it moved to at least 10 other cities, such as Qom, Kermanshah in the far west, Isfahan, and finally Tehran. The demonstrations were among the biggest since 2009, when millions took part in the Green Movement protests. So far, at least 21 people have been killed and hundreds have been injured. So what's behind the unrest and how is it different from the protests nearly a decade ago? Today, Iranians are taking to the streets in large part because of the state of their stagnant economy. Iran has an inflation of 10% and 12% unemployment. Among youth, joblessness is even higher, around 25%. Back in 2009, what led most people to protest was mainly political defiance, opposition to the election of then-president Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Last year, 57% of Iranians re-elected Hassan Rouhani as president with hopes that reforms would improve the economy. The 2015 Iran nuclear deal reached between Iran and the six world powers gave Iranians a ray of hope that trade would improve with the lifting of economic sanctions. But for the majority of working class Iranians, not much has changed. Here's just one example. The price of eggs has reportedly risen more than 50% in just the last six months alone, as high as $6.30 for a tray of 30 eggs. The recent protests began with anger over the economy, then some calls for government change. And while some media reports have focused solely on that, many Iranians are saying they simply want reform. They say they want Iran to shift its focus to the Iranian people instead of Syria, Lebanon, and Gaza. And they're turning to social media. Today, nearly 48 million Iranians have smartphones compared to fewer than 1 million back in 2009. The government has restricted popular messaging apps such as Telegram and Instagram and cut off internet access entirely in some places, but protesters have found other apps to communicate. And then there is this. US President Donald Trump has tweeted his support for the Iranian people, but many Iranians have no interest of what he has to say. As one Iranian protester says, how can Donald Trump support us when just a few months back he banned us and many others from entering the United States?